Well guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 22 of season 2 of our Leicester City career mode here on FIFA 20. In today's episode we start an FA Cup action against Ipswich and then we end 2021 away at Fulham in the Premier League. Last episode wasn't great, was it? 1-1 away at Leeds and then a 3-0 loss at home to Norwich which was their first win of the Premier League season. So yeah, pretty embarrassing but we did end that poor episode by making our final signing here at Leicester. Young Portuguese striker from Milan, Rafael Leao. So hopefully he can have a huge impact on the last half of our last season here at Leicester. And if we do beat Ipswich, our FA Cup objective will be achieved and hopefully our manager rating can creep up just a little bit because of course we are in danger at the moment of losing our job. So let's kick off today's episode at home to Ipswich and knock him out of the FA Cup. on the ball for to Harvey Barnes that's a decent pass into Fisher low and hard and it's a very good save from the goalkeeper first chance of the game and it comes for us and that really should have been 1-0 but it's a very good save from the Ipswich goalkeeper and here they come down this left hand side it's a very good run from the Ipswich man Kenlock very good pass into Norwood back out to this left hand side in Roberts 17 minutes gone they have been the better side but we've had the only chance away at goal downs it's a charge and run towards my goal it's into the box it's a very good run it goes all the way through to Keane and it's 1-0 18 minutes gone Ipswich have opened at the scoring I mean I should have dealt with downs there that was absolutely dreadful defending but it is a very good finish from Keane. Leicester nil, Ipswich won. A terrible start from us. Norwood on the ball for Ipswich. Oh, it's a very good turn. A sliding tackle from Johnny Evans, but he doesn't get there. It's a very good save in the end from our cup goalkeeper. Ipswich have been so good in this game so far, but to be honest, I've been absolutely dreadful going forward and defending. I've been so, so bad. I definitely need to step my game up. Crossing coming. It's a decent cross as well. And actually a good header from Keane. Looking for his second goal of the game. But thankfully it's a comfortable save in the end for Ward. Yeah, 35 minutes gone. I need to step my game up big time. Vincent Young on the ball. Very good pass forward to the goal scorer. Now Sears on this right hand side. Great tackle from the fullback. Can we find Leal? Yes, we can. Surely for 1 1. I'm going to sweat it to the right hand side in Fisher. Open goal 1 1. I had to do it. 44 minutes gone. We are struggling big time. So I had to do it. Leicester 1, Ipswich 1. What a time to grab an equalising goal. Totally against the run of play. I haven't been in this game whatsoever. And like I said, I had no choice because I'm playing so bad in this game. Norwood on the ball into the goal scorer surrounded by Leicester players but somehow he's come away from all of them and found a teammate Vincent Young with the cross to the back post the header towards goal from Keane and frankly once again it's a simple save for the goalkeeper 53 minutes gone and it's been a very good start to the second half from the away side Keane on the ball for Ipswich and it's a good tackle but somehow Keane's one possession back downs on the ball a cross in oh what a save but Norwood gets the rebound. 58 minutes gone. Ipswich have taken the lead for the second time in this game. It was a fantastic save. I don't know how he saved it. Look at that for a save. But unfortunately, Norwood reacts quicker than anyone else and puts it into the open net. Leicester 1, Ipswich 2. We trail once again. Harvey Barnes on the ball, goes past one. Can he go past two? I think he might be able to. Harvey Barnes is still going. What a run. Barnes, oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. You have to be kidding me. How has he saved that? 
brilliant run from Harvey Barnes, but unfortunately, it's a fantastic save. But here we go, moving forward once again, Adrian Silva. Simple save that time for the Ipswich goalkeeper. 63 minutes gone, very good response after going 2-1 down. Mendy on the ball, into Tielemans. Now Fisher, can we open up space on his right foot? It's Harvey Barnes once again, sorry, not Fisher, Harvey Barnes. With the strike towards goal once again. This time it was straight at the goalkeeper for a more simple save. Harvey Barnes into Amate, a cross in, it's a decent delivery. Does get cleared away, lovely first touch from Mendy to his right hand side. It's Tielemans, is it going to fall to the midfield? And no, it doesn't. They get the ball away, very good response after Ipswich took the lead once again. We are putting them under humongous pressure in the last couple of minutes. Adrian Silva, loads of space here for Fisher. Decent save. I can't seem to beat him at the moment. We still trail at 2-1. 70 minutes gone. Can we grab the equalising goal once again? No. Because once again, it's very good at defending. De Silva on this left-hand side into Adrian Silva. Now Leal, we are going to try and open up space with the young striker and smash it towards goal. And it's a very good attempt. But unfortunately, it's gone out for a goal kick. How close was it? It was close. I'm not sure if the keeper would have had it covered, to be honest. 73 minutes gone, and we are going to bring on a couple of subs. I think we're going to bring Pryor on for Adrian Silva and Fisher off for Damari Gray. Roberts on this left-hand side for Ipswich up against Tielemans. And he's holding off the midfielder very, very well. Across into the back post. De Silva, please clear it, and he does. Very important clearance from the young fullback. Corner kick incoming with 15 minutes left to play. A header towards goal. What a header it was as well from Roberts. And I thought it was going in. I really thought that was going right in the top corner. But thankfully it's gone wide. Holy smokes. I thought that was 3-1 and game over. But thankfully the score remains 2-1. And we are still in with a shout. Of getting through to the next round of the FA Cup. Keen on the ball for Ipswich. He skipped past me and he plays a fantastic pass out to Kenlock on this left hand side. What's he going to do with it? He's going to lose possession to Mendy. That's a very good tackle. Right, come on, let's break away and grab the equalising goal once again. Mendy, short into layout. Who's going to make me a good run through the middle is Tielemans. And that's a very good pass. Great first touch. Tielemans is still going. But the defender was just too strong. But Mendy, they've played it straight to him. Harvey Barnes onto his right foot. To his right-hand side is the young striker. But what an interception. Oh, my God. Five minutes left to play to try and grab an equalising goal at home to Ipswich in the FA Cup. Tielemans short into Pryor. Back into Tielemans. To his right-hand side is Leal. What an introduction to Leicester this would be. Three minutes left to play and Leal has grabbed the equalising goal. Leicester 2, Ipswich 2. It's game back on for these last couple of minutes. Wow. Look at that. What a finish. Lovely pass from Tielemans. And what a finish from the young striker. Like I said, what an introduction. Grabbing the equalising goal in the FA Cup with just a couple of minutes remaining. There's the end of the game here at the King Power and it's ended all square at 2-2. Ipswich were very good for large parts of this game and probably deserved to get a replay. But how about Leal grabbing the goal to keep us in the FA Cup on his debut? Absolutely brilliant. I'm not sure what the next game is going to be because I don't know when the replay is scheduled for. But let's get into the next game. It's either going to be Fulham in the Premier League or us knocking Ipswich out of the FA Cup. on the ball short into Via Libre into Kenny with the chipped effort very weird attempt towards goal from the position he was in but that is the first official chance away at goal 
And thankfully, it was a dreadful one, and the score does remain nil-nil. And here the fullback goes down this right-hand side. What a run from Ricardo Pereira, and he gets taken out by the fullback. And surely it has to be a yellow card. Oh, it's a red! Okay. Um... Don't know what to say. That is no way a red card. What is the referee doing? Well, seven minutes gone. Fulham are down to ten men. Ricardo Pereira on the volley. Struck it sweetly, but unfortunately it's gone wide. I'm still in shock of that being a red card. Well, eight minutes gone and we have a big advantage in this game. Fulham are down to ten men. Indeedy on the ball, forward to Damari Gray, now Tielemans. But Mawson with a very good interception, short into Kearney. Now Kamara into Di Francesco. Is he going to play it back into Kamara? He does, he flicks it up. And thankfully it's an atrocious shot towards goal it goes out for a goal kick 14 minutes gone the red card hasn't phased Fulham whatsoever they've still been pretty decent in this game 15 minutes gone Fulham down to 10 men and the score does remain nil nil Tielemans on the ball short into Pryor out to Ben Chilwell on this left hand side into Leal what can we do with the young striker it's a very good play to go past one can we find a Leicester player in the box it's a dangerous delivery does get cleared away and it is going to fall straight to Kamara. Is he going to keep possession for Fulham? He's charging down this left wing and Siyunju was just too quick and strong for the Fulham man. And that's a good pass forward to the young striker. Great first touch into Damari Gray. Now Ricardo Pereira across in. It's a dangerous delivery and Kearney does well and it goes out for a corner kick. 22 minutes gone can we open the scoring from this corner it's a good delivery is it going to fall to a Leicester man here no the Fulham man does very well and Kamara does even better to keep possession wow okay 24 minutes gone and it doesn't feel like we have an advantage to be honest Fulham have been the much better team in this whole game before and after the red card Seri on this left hand side for Fulham, he's got three players to aim for, he's got past me, whips in a cross and Pryat does very very well, that was a great cross, outside of the boot from Seri, absolutely insane, 30 minutes gone and the last 5-10 minutes or so has been all Fulham, here Kearney goes, it's a decent run, he plays it short into Kamara, what a save from Kasper Smeichel to keep the score at nil nil. Very good play from Kearney. I just couldn't seem to get the ball off him. Twisting and turning. And what a save from the captain. Corner kick incoming for the home side. Are they going to open the scoring? Nope. Not if Ben Chilwell has anything to do with it. But they are going to keep this attack alive. Unless we can nick it away from them and break away. Di Francesco once again on the ball on this right hand side. Into Sessignon. Now Kearney, this is very good play from Fulham once again. Back onto his right foot. Brilliant play. And again, it's a very good save from Kasper Smeichel. Ten minutes left to play of the first half. And Fulham are putting us under so much pressure. And the pressure has finally paid off Kamara with a very good headed goal. Ten men Fulham have opened the scoring after 36 minutes. Fulham won, less than nil. Pryor short into James Madison. Can we go up the other end and reply immediately? It's brilliant play here from James Madison. Sliding tackle comes in. We avoid it and James Madison smashes it past the goalkeeper. We do go up the other end and reply immediately. What a goal from Madison. Absolutely brilliant. I really thought we were going to get taken down there, but what a finish that is. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. Well, it's game back on. 39 minutes gone. James Madison now has six goals in the Premier League this season. Fulham 1, Leicester 1.
Apoku on this left hand side for Fulham. Oh my god, he's completely done me. He's ruined my life. He's gone past two players. Oh my god, he does find a teammate in Kamara, and thankfully that back heel comes to nothing. Wow, brilliant play from the Fulham fullback. Completely ruined two of my players. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Out to Ricardo Pereira on this right-hand side. And no one's closing me down. Can we find Madison at the back post? It's a very good delivery. But Sessing Young, what a header that is. Right, just before the break, we get a good chance to take the lead for the first time in this game. Does get cleared only as far as Gray. But Mawson does get it further away. Ben Chilwell, very good pass into Damari Gray. And that is a fantastic turn. Can we find a Leicester player in the box? It's a dangerous delivery. Does get cleared away only as far as Ndidi. Now Pryor, we're going to try and open up space and smash it towards goal with Pryor. Oh, what a goal that is. It loops over the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. And seconds before the break, we've taken the lead for the first time in this game. What a goal from the midfielder. Fulham 1, Leicester 2. Ricardo Pereira short into Damari Gray. Hopefully we can have a good start to the second half and bury this game at 3-1. Damari Gray is still going short into Leal. And the keeper gathers it up. Wow, what a start to the second half that would have been to make the score 3-1 and basically wrap up this game for a big three points. And we are going to win possession back straight away. Leal onto his right foot. A forward pass into James Madison. And the Fulham man does very well to come away with the ball. And he's on a charging run towards my defence. He's still going. He's up against Pryor. And he does well to keep possession and find a teammate. A very lively start to the second half. That's a great tackle from Siyunchu. To his left-hand side is Ndidi. But Kenny does very well to win possession back. Wow, now Sessignon on the ball. Oh, he's done me. He's completely done me. Very good play from the fullback. Lovely one-two between the two players. Now Di Francesco on this right-hand side. Kearney is offside. I saw that. Ten minutes into the second half. No chances away at goal, but a very lively start from both sides. So Yinchu on the ball. Out to Ricardo Pereira. First time into Damari Gray. Surely look at the player swarming into the box. Can we find Tiedemans? Yes, we can. First time finish. And it's gone wide. That should be 3-1. How close was it? Always going away from goal. But it was still very close to being 3-1. 59 minutes gone. That is the first chance away at goal in this second half. And Didi on the ball. Very good pass out to Ben Chilwell. What a first touch. Pryor in Didi into Leal. That's a great first touch. Right hand side is Ricardo Pereira. I should have took a touch. I had loads of space. Yeah, and it's gone miles wide. Poor finish from the fullback. But like I said, I should have taken a touch and set myself for the shot. And at least make the goalkeeper work. But the score does remain 2-1. And it's been a very good last 5-10 to 10 minutes or so from us. McDonald on the ball, forward two at the goal scorer for Fulham, lovely one two between the two players into the bottom corner, 66 minutes gone and once again it's game back on, Fulham two, Leicester two, it was a lovely one two between Kamara and I'm not quite sure who it was, was it Seri? Yeah I think it was Seri, lovely back heel into the midfielder. And he returns the ball to the striker straight away. And it's a very good finish. Wow. Kamara now has eight goals in the Premier League this season. 2-2. Two -two. Kamara on the ball. Short into Kearney. Fulham upping the pressure to try and grab their third goal and take the lead once again in this game. Very good play out to this left-hand side. And thankfully the cross finds Siyinchu and we do come away with the ball indeedy out to James Madison on this left hand side I see Ben Chilwell on the overlap but what a tackle that was from Sessignon oh my god that's a decent pass here into Kearney plays it into McDonald first time strike and thankfully we do come away with the ball 
That's a great first touch from the young striker through here to Damari Gray. Left hand side is James Madison. Can we take the lead once again into Damari Gray? Great first touch. What a save. Oh my god. How was that? Not 3 2. Ricardo Pereira short to Tielemans. Now Damari Gray for his last involvement in the game. And he's grabbed our third goal. Fulham 2. Leicester 3, what a finish, rocketed right into the top corner, if that's even a word, he struck it so sweetly, goalkeeper, no chance, wow, great first touch as well, and look at that, for a finish, on his left foot as well, so much power, so much power on that strike from Damari Gray, he now has six goals in the league this season. And like I said, that's his last involvement in the game because we have made a triple sub. Marlon, Tello and Harvey Barnes coming onto the pitch for these last 15 minutes. So Yunchu on the ball. Decent pass out to Ricardo Pereira. Now Tielemans for to Christian Tello. But Mawson was just too strong into McDonald. Oh, he's got past Tielemans and he's on a charging run, but it's a very good tackle. And it falls here to the young striker and he's got fresh legs. He's not going to get caught, surely. Marlon is still going. Can we find Tielemans? Yes, we can. Great first touch. And I'm not sure if it hit Mawson, but who the hell cares? It's hit the back of the net and surely that is game over. Fulham 2, Leicester 4. Full-time whistle has gone six goals in this game. Two for Fulham and four for us. A very crazy but good game. And we've picked up a big three points. So hopefully this is going to kickstart us into some good consistent form for the last half of the season. Full-time result here at Craven Cottage. Fulham 2, Leicester 4. So after a very good 4-2 win against Fulham, we remain in 8th place, now on 39 points, 7 points behind Arsenal and Wolves. At the top, Liverpool on 68 points, Spurs in 2nd on 64 points, Man U on 61 points and Man City completing the top 4 just one point behind their rivals. At the bottom, Norwich remain on 5 points. Leeds on 9 points and Cardiff are now on 14 points. Picking up quite a few points over the last few episodes or so. Just 2 points now behind Aston Villa looking to revive their season. And there's still quite some time to go in the Premier League season. Next episode we start with the FA Cup replay against Ipswich. And then we end in Premier League action at home to West Ham. So that is going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.